Hi, on a previous video, which I'll link to a card in the top, I uh, described how I create these spoof entries into my uh, media server. The unfortunate thing is, there doesn't seem to be any options, even within real movies I've, I've actually put on there, to display any trailers. So I've come up with a, a solution I'd like to share with you today. The solution I've come up with is to amend the summary text here and prefix it with a URL of my choosing which uh, goes to a trailer for the movie. So once we've captured a URL of our choosing, if we go in and edit here, we can save the changes and lo and behold, Our URL working in our Plex wish list, and that will go for any film we want to add to manually. Now that's okay if you've got maybe what 19 year, you're prepared to do that. Uh, but I've got another technique if you've got more files, or if you want to store them away separately, the sake of having to go back and manually add them. So we'll go on to that now. Initially, we're going to uh, extract some data to or generate searches for us. I've connected to my database, which I go through on my previous example. What I've done here is I've generated some Google searches. So I'm going to save these to a CSV file. And then, as it says here, I'm going to open that CSV file. See we've got all the uh, URLs here. So I'm going to take those and I'm going to put them into this page here. Submit and then open the URLs. This will populate a bunch of Google searches and you can hit enter and then the trailer of your choice can be selected from that. A bit manual, a bit hands-on, but that's the only solution I've got for now. What we do now is right-click, copy the link address, and then paste that into column C. And then we repeat, read search, Grab the URL you want to use. Now in time order tradition, I've prepared a list of URLs already, which I'll now paste in here. Take this text, paste it in. Trailing part of the statement. those in, come straight back over here and grab this which will join up the previous three columns to make update statements we can apply to the database. Now in order to execute the SQL update statements we need to connect directly to Supplied Plex SQLite plugin. And so we can now get those statements, do a begin, just to uh, get the transaction going. And there we go, we've got all our update statements. And now we can commit as we've had no errors. And then when we go back here, we should see URLs. Now I have found that on the various webs you have to triple click them. But then basically, as you can see, we can now... Nope. 
kids allowed on the beach. Now, when it comes to the iPhone app, I've noticed that the uh, once you tap the summary area, the URL seems to light up at just one tap. It takes you straight through to uh, there's something alien out there. The film itself. Hopefully, you found that useful. Uh, leave any comments. Uh, appreciate it.